<laughs> I am going to show you my Monday morning routine today. It's a little different from the other days of the week because Mondays are my busiest day for our business. My husband and I own a green cleaning business together and there's just a lot of clerical work to do on Mondays like client emails from the weekend, payment reminders from the previous week, appointment re reminders for the rest of the week, and it just takes me a few hours to get into all of that right away on Monday mornings. Usually I start my mornings with a sitting meditation, but not on Mondays because I'm usually bombarded first thing with all of this clerical work. So after I do that for a few hours, I make my to-do list for the week and prioritize things I'm going to do today and for the rest of the week. And hopefully, like me, you don't have a bunch of that clerical work to do and you can just make your to-do list and get right into your day. Um, and I will feature how I make my to-do list um, in another video. And of course I have my healthy morning coffee, which I have featured in another video on my channel, so you can check that out. And my beautiful, sweet baby pup Solomon by my side the entire time I'm doing all of this work in the mornings. And as you'll see throughout this entire video, I pretty much like to stay in my PJs with my bed head the whole time I'm working in the morning and the whole time I'm tidying up and doing my morning routine. You might feel more motivated if you get dressed, but this works for me <laughs> to each their own. So after all of my initial work for work, I start to tidy up from the weekend and just get everything back in its rightful place. And of course I have to pause and give my pup some love sometimes. <laughs> um, so anyway, then I throw away all the trash, put away the game that we played with our friends over the weekend, really just general tidying up in the living room and the most lived in areas of our house. And since I skipped my morning meditation, I like to treat this tidying up time as a walking meditation, which simply means that I focus on what I'm doing while I'm doing it so that I can prepare my mind for the day ahead of me and for the week ahead of me and keep my stress and anxiety levels down since I know it's going to be a busy work week. And of course, sometimes I get interrupted by phone calls and emails, but hey, that's not a problem. Next, I move on to the kitchen to tidy up in there. This is usually the dirtiest place in our house, so I like to tidy up in here every single morning, not just on Mondays. That way, when I am ready to cook dinner at night, it's all clean and tidy and ready to go, and I'm not having to pick up while I'm cleaning as well. So I just put, all away, put away all my morning coffee stuff and get everything right in its place and you'll see me wiping off all of the counters, and then I'll move on to dishes. Next, I'll move on to dishes, and we usually have a lot of dishes on Monday mornings because I neglect dishes on Saturday and on Sunday many times just because I prefer to take those days off to spend with family and friends and relaxing, and I know I'm going to kick into high gear on Monday mornings, so I just kind of leave them for that period of time. I also just wanted to take a moment to explain the myriad reasons why I do this tidy up routine on a daily basis, and that is because I feel like a tidy space equals a blank canvas for me to get everything else done that I need to do. And as I mentioned before, I treat it as a walking meditation so it eases my anxiety and stress. And also, if I keep on top of cleaning and tidying daily, then it doesn't pile up to where I feel overwhelmed like I have so many things to clean at a future date. And here's sweet Solomon again, always by my side, following me around. <laughs> While we're in the kitchen, I wanted to show you guys this bag I keep on the back of the door where I keep all my dirty rags that I can take down the stairs to our washer and dryer when it gets full. 
Also, it's November 11th today, and it's snowing. Look at that cute face. So, moving on to the bedroom. Usually, I would make my bed first, but my sweet, sweet husband did that for me this morning, so I can move on to laundry instead. There are usually a couple piles of laundry that were washed over the weekend that, once again, I neglected on Saturday and Sunday in order to spend time with friends and family or do whatever we were doing. So I will fold and put away the weekend laundry on Monday mornings. Because inevitably there will be a lot more laundry piles where that came from throughout the entire week. So many a morning I do this as part of my routine. So usually these mornings I would give our bathroom a quick wipe as well and put everything that we had out on the counters away. It's pretty clean today because I cleaned it over the weekend, but I would definitely wipe down the vanity and put everything away if there was stuff out. It's getting pretty snowy out there. Okay, so that sums up my Monday morning routine. I am somehow magically dressed now and ready to move on to the rest of my day, which mainly consists of emails, phone calls, texts, um, some estimates, that sort of stuff. And let me know some of the things that you incorporate into your Monday morning routines. I would love to know. Mondays actually are great for me because they're super productive, but I know we all sometimes get a case of the Mondays. But anyway, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and please, 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 as always, hit that red subscribe button to not miss any videos and to support my channel. Thanks again for watching. Hope you guys have a great day.